All right, Padgett, season two about to come to an end of Criminal Minds Evolution. It's been a crazy, wild season to say the least, but especially for Prentice. What, how, just how hard has this season in this case been on her? It, it, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard on Prentice, and it's frankly, it's hard to act. Um, there was a lot of physical stuff, and there was a lot of being angry at Rossi and having to keep secrets from um, her own team, feeling remorseful about having a confirmation bias, assuming everything was gold star. And then you kind of find out, oh, she, she, she wasn't as wrong as she thought she was. And uh, I, I don't want to give anything away. Uh, there were, there was, um, there were some, I, I, I don't need to fall to my knees on the ground ever again. I can say that. I'm hoping that's not going to be in next season. <laughs> Um, uh, but it, but it was, it was challenging, but it was great. And it's such a great team that I, that, that I in acting as Prentice feel safe to, to do all of that, to be rageful or hurt or vulnerable or stoned or, you know, that's, it's a safe environment. It's just a great show. It's a, it's a bunch of nice people. So, you know, if, 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 if I felt judged or insecure or vulnerable, um, I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't have been able to do a lot of the stuff that they wrote. So um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm lucky to be in that environment. Absolutely. With everything that's been going on with gold star this season and this perceived sense of responsibility that may or may not end up getting out there at some point that nobody wants to get out there. Do you feel like this, the BAU, have they ever been this backed into a corner before? Cause it doesn't seem like it. No, no. I mean, I, I imagine when Gideon and Rossi, and as we now know, Jill, first started the BAU when it was called, I think, the BSU, the Behavioral Sciences Unit, um, they were in the basement, they weren't respected, they were mocked. But since they gained um, respect and a position in the department, the, the BAU has never been kicked around like a little rat dog the director making a deal with the boy behind our back. We're forced to depend on this guy and he'll get out, e even though we know he's guilty. I mean, it really, they're really, we're treated pretty poorly. And I think that's why Rossi and Prentice sort of maybe cut some legal corners uh, here and there by, by um, bringing in a, a military consultant and, um, you know, there there was some questionable behavior on their part this year, and oh, I you think you guys it, never do that. No, not <laughs> this, no, not you guys. <laughs> I think it came from desperation. I think it came from really exactly what you said, being backed into a corner. It's never happened to this degree before um, in in our show, and so so it was interesting to see uh, how human beings respond to to that threat. No doubt. And it, it was crazy watching this season for me because and a spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't been caught up on this season up to episode episode nine of season two. But OK, first, the, you know, you've got Damien and Jade and then, well, there goes Damien. And then, you know, we, we quickly turn to Jade and then, well, question mark on Jade and Frank Church comes into the thing. So how frustrating is it where it's like, OK, you feel like you got the head of the sneak each time and then new heads keep growing up. So how crazy has that been for the team so far? Well, um, I love it um, because you can't just take the whole monster out. Then you have no show. And so what was really exciting before we started shooting this season was talking to our showrunners and writers, uh, Erica and Breen and Chris and saying, you know, what's the plan? What, what are we going to, what are we going to do? And their idea was um, a storyline that almost mimicked the platform for video games where you have the big bad, and then you have the smaller bats, and it is, it's exactly what you said, it's a hydra. These heads keep popping up, and the moment you, you know, whack them all one head down, now we're following this person, and, and it's it's a labyrinth of deceit and, and politics and deals that we're trying to get to the bottom of, but that, I think, makes it a really exciting season. And there's more to come that you haven't seen yet that I'm really excited about, too, so... You um you nailed it on the head. Speaking of Hydra, kind of a play on words there because director Madison 
played by Clark Gregg. We haven't seen a whole lot of him this season, but his name is always out there. And he's mm-hmm. always been kind of a bit of an enigma. So without spoiling anything, are we finally going to get to learn a little bit more about him and what's going on with him in this final episode? You will be extremely satisfied with the use of director Madison and the uh, incredible skills of Clark Gregg. It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to say it, it does not end with a whimper. It's, um, it's some really great stuff. Very good to know. And on a lighter note, right before I let you go, it seems like there's been a lot of romance on the show this season, which is crazy. <laughs> a lot of love triangles. I don't know if you guys have got the love geometry thing going on, but uh, <laughs> d- does, does Prentice get to have some happy times here at some point? Because it feels like uh, she's the one that keeps getting dogged out of this thing. <laughs> I know. Um, we, I guess we just didn't, um, they, the, they didn't concentrate on that this season. Also, she's been in such a foul mood. She she wouldn't have been a great girlfriend to anybody this season. So I don't know. Maybe that's coming. Maybe that's coming in season three. I'm not sure. I mean, I maybe I don't know. They haven't told us what's coming. I went into the office yesterday and begged them to tell us what we're going to be doing for season three. And so I'm hoping they answer us. Maybe there's some romance coming for Prentice. She gets so beat up. You, you want to give her a give her a chance. You, you do. I just want to gi- I just want to give her a hug. I, I feel like she needs it. I feel Aww. like at the end of the day, she, she really <laughs> needs one. But hey, it's been a crazy season. We still got one more to go. That's going to be coming up this Wednesday, the season two finale, or 17 if you're doing legacy numbers, of Criminal Minds Evolution. It's been a wild ride, and I can't wait to see what ends this season. Padgett Brewster, thanks so much for taking some time. I appreciate you. Thank you, James. Have a great day. You too.